folks, welcome to Keeper TV. And today, oh man, I have not seen what I'm about to show you ever before. Coach Morgan, I have to shout you out because you were the one that turned me on to what the heck this even is. I'm a peanut butter guy and I need this apparently in my life, but we're gonna find out if this is actually any good. Jif Whips. I have the normal peanut butter and then I found chocolate. I got some bread here too, Nichols Bakery bread. And we're gonna find out if this Jif Whips is actually any good because I'm a big peanut butter guy. This looks like it has a little bit less calories than normal, like two serving, two tablespoons of Jif peanut butter normally is about 190 calories. So you can look it up, but at least Jif crunchy peanut butter, I know for a fact, it's 190 calories for two uh, tablespoons. This one, two tablespoons, is 140 calories. So hey, cutting a little bit of calories back. Um, but let's see, I don't even know what they mean by whips. Like I'm trying to look in the ingredients and it still just says, you know, peanuts and sugar and all and everything nice, all the normal stuff. So I don't even know how they would make it whippy, like light and fluffy. We're gonna open it up right here live. We live, baby. Mm, I can actually open it. Smells like peanut butter. It looks like peanut butter. No, what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna spread this out onto a piece of bread. And if you wanna know what bread it is, if you wanna be real nosy, it's just this Nichols 35 calorie bread. I got through college on this. This peanut butter and jelly, oh. When you didn't have much money and you playing football and you're doing everything else, it's like psh, that got you through. Oh, look at that. See how that's like just chunked out there? Like that, it just, it just literally just chunked out onto my fork, or oh, this is not a fork, onto my knife just so easily. Wow, that was weird. So let's just spread this out. It spreads really easy. Wow. I'm super intrigued, folks. It just spreads out just, just like nobody's business. Now, I'm gonna lick this and we're gonna see how this actually tastes. Hold up. That is crazy. It's literally, I mean obviously it's peanut butter, but it's like peanut butter with like this lighty, lighty? Light and airiness about it. Like it just like disappears in your mouth. What the heck? So let's try this out. Just a little, you know, peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, like it's really thick, and then all of a sudden, it just, it's just not there anymore. This is the weirdest. I can see this stuff being very addictive. I can see this stuff being really good um, fluffernutters. You know what I'm talking about? Peanut butter and marshmallow cream sandwiches. Insane. This, this has just changed the game. Jif Whips has just changed the game, folks. <laughs> okay. So now, we're gonna try the chocolate. This, if I had to rate that right there, being the peanut butter lover, it's all over my face. With that I am, I'm gonna give that a 10 out of 10. Like, if you're down for peanut butter, that's phenomenal. Now this says, it says whipped peanut butter and chocolate. Well, there's no mo there's no milk in here, so that's what's up. So I can't have this. So this is basically chocolate peanut butter, which is a dream come true. Oh my gosh! I this one I'm I'm so excited for. <laughs> oh my gosh! 
So again, let me just show you when I, when this just comes out, it just, just plops right out there. It's easy, it's easy. Let's try this. Oh my gosh, this is dangerous. This, this needs to get out of my house. <laughs> this is, wow. This whole carton could be eaten. I wouldn't even think twice about it. Holy crap. That's that's crazy stuff. I can tell you right now that this stuff's a 10 out of 10 and it ain't even close. Like that is literally, for the, all the peanut butter items that I've ever had, number one. Absolutely number one peanut butter-esque spread that I've ever put into my mouth. Big old thick. Wow. I can see this being so good in a smoothie. Like a protein shake. Obviously fluffer nutters. Anything involving peanut butter. Um, what's it called? Muddy buddies? Or puppy chow, whatever you call it. Was it puppy chow or is it money buddies? Comment down below. I've always called it money buddies. Phenomenal. The normal peanut butters, I, what did I say, 10 out of 10? This one is at least a 14,000 out of 10. Holy crap. Woo! Okay. So we've, we've debunked that. The GIF whips are something that you should totally go buy like right now. But I hope you love the rest of Keep Forget TV. We're done with this segment. <laughs> That's for sure. I'm going to eat some more of this. Y'all have an enjoyable rest of this episode. Peace. With a book of magic, I'll make a new batch of lucky charms. The delicious part of a complete breakfast. A touch of magic. <laughs> ah, I used too much magic. Oh, my marshmallow colors are all mixed up. Blue hearts, green moons, purple stars. And I can't read the book to fix them. Kids, you've got to help me before these mixed up marshmallows get into me lucky charm cereal. They already are. What do we do? Kids, you can get your own box of mixed up lucky charms and help Lucky fix up the mix up. Help me, I'll be lucky charm to stay mixed up forever. For superstars like you. <laughs> Watch me trick Fred out of his Cocoa Pebbles. A time machine! Greetings! From the future! I gotta bring back something super chocolatey! Please take my Cocoa Pebbles! Mmm! Cosmic Cocoa Taste! Time to go! <laughs> Barney, my <laughs> pebbles. <laughs> Your history, Fred. Post pebble cereal. Part of this nutritious breakfast. Yeah, but dabba delicious. Hey, so here we are. And uh, let me talk to you about something here. Down below, you can click the join button now. Right next to where it says subscribe, you can click the join button and you can join the Keyfricker Club. Patreon is no more. Patreon, well, it, it's going to be no more. Now, let me get into this here. I just got approved to get this join button on my channel, which is awesome. So all of my Keyfrica Club content, behind the scenes, like when I go to the stores and I see like a new awesome thing in the store, I'm like, I'm like oh my gosh, there's fillows. I mean, this isn't new, but let's just say this was new. I usually post it in my Keyfrica Club. And right now, the Keith Rucker Club is all based on to Facebook. It's on Patreon, but the club is actually based through Facebook. It's a weird thing. And it's just, it's a roundabout way to have my Keith Rucker Club. Well, now, all you got to do is click join below, and you can join the Keith Rucker Club, and it's all right here on YouTube. Awesome. 
So what the heck is it? It's literally something that helps keep these lights on. It's literally something that helps buy the very product that I review. So when you join it, it's five bucks a month. There's other tiers that you can do more than that, but five bucks a month gets you in the door of the Kieferka Club. And when you do that, you know in your heart of hearts, all these boxes on my walls, you played a part in that. You literally played a part in that. You were a part of it. So I'm going to let all the names of all the Kieferka Club people roll on these episodes of Kieferka TV every single Saturday because I want everybody to know whether it's one person or whether it's 5,000 people to know exactly who is helping this be a thing. So if you want that weekly shout out, if you want to literally help me, because I get a lot of people and they're just like, Keith, how can I help you? You know, like I love your videos, my kids love your videos, like I wish there was something I could do, like to collab with you, I wanna help you. Here is the perfect way. It's literally five bucks and I don't need your money. I don't want your money. But if you want to partner with me and join the Keyfricker Club and we together can make this be an awesome thing, then click join below and let's make this happen. Because I wouldn't have this platform, I wouldn't be here today even talking to you if it wasn't for you. Like honestly, honestly, you all made this happen. There would be no Fox 8 without y'all. There would be no Food Network Magazine without y'all. So if you want those kind of things to continually be a thing, join the Kiefer Club. And oh my gosh, what we can do from here? Endless possibilities. But I just had to throw that out there. I hope you're enjoying today's episode of Kiefer TV. I'll talk to you soon. Two kinds of alphabet. This new one has marshmallows. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, new marshmallow alphabet for me. Marshmallow Alphabet Cereal is part of this good for you breakfast. Both alphabets are A, B, C, delicious. Yo, John, Mickey D. Okay, thanks. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Look who's popping into McDonald's. It's Mario from the new Super Mario Brothers 3 game. And when you buy a McDonald's Happy Meal, you'll get a Jumping Mario, or a Kooky Luigi, a Koopa Paratroopa, or a Little Goomba. McDonald's Happy Meal, you can collect all four. Ever since Denny's restaurants offered their Flintstones fun meals, my brother's been acting kind of strange. Yabba dabba doo! Mom and Dad say it's just a face he's going to. I'm not so sure. Come on, we're going to Denny's! Yabba dabba doo! Personally, I think it's time Mom and Dad put their foot down. When you try any of Denny's 11 Flintstones Fun Meals, we'll give you a Flintstones mini car. You can collect them all at participating Denny's while supplies last. Who? I'm not looking forward to this. I just want you to know that I'm not pleased with what's about to happen. What does that say? Voodoo Heat. Zappos! Or zaps, there's no zap, but oh, zaps, potato chips, voodoo heat. I don't know what that means. I'm actually pretty scared. Something hot? I remember those Julio's chips very vividly, and they were so hot. I was just like, no. But this is a viewer's choice video, so thank you, Keeper Good Club, for voting. You can join the Keeper Club by pressing join down below. I do believe it's able and willing to be pressed right now. If not, then at some point, very soon, that little join button will be enabled and you can press it. But nevertheless, join the Keeper Club and watch me do stupid things like what I'm about to try right here. <laughs> oh, oh, well, uh. That smell, oh my, the smell, it just went to my eye. <laughs> it's like one of the hot flakes just went to my eyeball. Okay, okay, okay.
Oh, I'm gonna get this one. Super saturated. Super saturated. How about we just put a bunch of them in the mouth? This. Hmm. Our flavor is actually really good. Really good. These are bomb. Wow. Oh, there's that heat. <laughs> you know, these are just really good chips. Mm-hmm. New Orleans kettle style voodoo heat chips. Awesome. Awesome. There is a little bit of heat. Like they do have that little bit of tingle and spice. So if your palate is whack, <laughs> don't don't go for these because you'll be breathing fire. My palate's okay. It's okay. Like I give I give it a little bit of exercise, and uh, these are good. These are really good. Like I don't even know what I'm tasting with this flavor. no idea what that flavor is beyond really really good so if you can handle mild like somewhat spicy stuff try these chips i'm telling you i'm giving these a 10 out of 10 so far this episode my god we, we, we've been just handing out 10 just like you get a 10 and you get a 10 everybody gets a 10 so far everybody has been perfect Wow, I'm, I'm going to um, continue eat these and, and, and eat these. Can I get the words out of my mouth? Uh, you enjoy the rest of Keeper TV, okay? Our solar system is made up of nine planets. Mercury. Now from Chips Ahoy, there's new Sprinkle Chips Ahoy. With lots of chocolate chips and magical colored sprinkles, there's a party in every bite. <laughs> Any questions? Could you explain that again? <laughs> Certainly. Our solar system. New Sprinkle Chips Ahoy! A party in every bite! Come on, you guys! It's only a little! <laughs> a hungry giant! Hungry for a big honey taste! Honey Honeycomb cereal! Part of this big, complete breakfast! Honeycomb yeah! Here now, all 50 Honeycomb license plates. One free at each specially marked box of Honeycomb cereal. And they're going fast! Just a cheetah here in one red-hot slingshot. Itching to enter that Cheetos production center. Take the party as I go bombarding those Cheeto snacks he's gotten. The cheese that goes! Crunch! <laughs> it's not easy being cheesy. <laughs> Woo! Back out of here, folks. Now, part two of the viewer's choice video because I gave everybody three options. Pick two, and the first one was those voodoo chips. Were straight bomb. I can, mm, I can still taste them. So good, go buy those. I'm telling you. This next thing, though, never seen this in my life. You know what handy snacks are? Remember the cheese and the crackers, like with the little red little stick that you would spread the cheese all over the crackers. This is what this reminds me of. Oreo, dip and go. Now. This would be the little crackers, basically. Or maybe like Dunkaroos. Oh my gosh. Dunkaroos. That, those were my jam. Kind of reminds me of that. So we got the cookie and we got the Oreo cream and you dunk, and you dip it out. And I, I guess that's how, it, that's how it rolls. So let's, let's try these puppies out, you know? And that's exactly what you're getting right here. A little handy snack. And it's literally by handy snacks. I mean, handy snacks. Nabisco, it's all 
it's all there. But looks like we got the cookies. Okay, got the cream. Right, let's see if this is good. Shoot. I wish this was around when I was a kid. I love me some Oreos. I, I, I ate the mess out of some candy snacks, so. So, these little Oreo things, you can break them. That's just all over my face. Break them. And then, you got the cream. Got the cream. Oh okay. god. Wow. This is better than a normal Oreo. Tell you what. You get to eat that cream. And that cream is kind of gooey. So it's just perfect. Y'all. Yeah. This is bomb. I've never had an episode like this in my life. Everything that I've eaten. It's straight perfecto. So this right here, see, you think it's good too, miss? She thinks it's good too. <laughs> you wanna say hi? Come here. Miss, oh no. I literally picked up my cat and then the camera fell. So hi, miss, see what you did? These get a perfect 10 out of 10. Perfect score. Like, so good. This whole episode. Oh no! I dropped them all. Dropped it. There's only one left now. Great. Anyways, thank you so much for watching Caprica TV. If you see Oreo Dip and Ghosts out in the store, um, definitely a buyable thing. If a kid needs a snack, um, like a dessert for their lunch or whatever you're packing for them. Maybe their trip, maybe they play football, maybe they play a sport, I don't know. But Oreo Dip and Ghost, Magnifique. Join the Keep Record Club. Make sure you comment down below your favorite part of today's episode. I really wanna know. I really wanna know, and I'll talk to you down there. Um, But until the next one, peace.